Hey, what's going on everybody? Today on PP Reviews, we're gonna drink some nasty water. And uh, we're gonna try not to die. Yay! I'm going to show you guys the uh, coffee filter method. So basically the coffee filter is gonna get any uh, sediment out uh, down to some pretty fine stuff. Uh, I've got our iodine tablets here. It's just an iodine chemical mix. It's not just iodine. And then we've got a taste tablet. So this does take 20 minutes, 20 to 30. So uh, we're gonna do this one first. And while we do the other ones, we'll just let it sit and uh, kill all of that nasty bacteria. Okay, so one of the most important things that you're going to uh, want to do here is if you can, obviously if you're in a, some desperate survival situation, you might not be able to, but if, in, in general, if you're just packing this stuff on purpose, two water bottles. Uh, you'll want a dirty bottle and a clean bottle, and that's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier. They don't have to be the same size bottle. Actually, we used a small bottle and a large bottle last time, squeezing the yeah. small into the large. Uh, I think that may be a better idea, but the wider open the mouth of the bottle, the easier your life is going to be here. So we literally just take our coffee filter, place it over top of our dirty bottle. Uh, if you do have a piece of paracord string, a nice... Rubber band, hair tie. Uh, yeah, a nice leaf that's not going to break on you with good <laughs> tensile strength. Uh, it does make life a heck of a lot easier to tie the filter onto the end of your bottle. Just be aware that if you uh, if you do tie it like this, then you're going to have to alleviate pressure once in a while because it's just going to be a straight up vacuum in there. So make sure your bottle is squeezable and not something hard, otherwise it's just never going to work. And there we go. We got a good flow going. Uh, so I'm going to squeeze this entire bottle into here and then we are going to um, hit it with our lovely little iodine tablets, leave it to sit over there and clean up, and then we will uh, move on to the other methods and come back to it once we're done. The reason why we have to leave it for 30 minutes is because if you go any less than that, then there is a fair chance that you're going to leave some nastiness in the water. And obviously you don't want that, especially if you're going to be out here for a long period of time. So definitely, definitely, definitely give it the recommended 30 minutes. Jeez, Jesse, these bottles are a hell of a lot easier. Oh yeah, you got twice the surface area. That's so much better, oh my goodness. All right guys, so I cannot recommend enough that you get uh, bottles with wide mouths like this because last time that Jesse and I were doing this we were using just like regular water bottles and it was excruciating. It was taking 15 minutes to just drip it from one bottle to another. We were ripping through filters like crazy. We're losing an enormous amount of water um, because of because of the way it was dripping and yeah we couldn't we couldn't alleviate the vacuum um, and if you saw when I tipped it back up it was sucking a lot of air into the bottle because the mouth here is nice and wide. So uh, Gatorade bottles are awesome for this. Uh, this core hydration bottle, if you have a brand like this near you, anything with an extremely wide mouth on it and that's extremely squeezable like this, it's super awesome. Okay, so I have got a full 900 mils here of uh, filtered water. And all I'm going to do now is add two of my iodine tablets. This kit comes with uh, two of these. I got these at Dick's Sporting Goods. They're 18 bucks or something like that. Um, I will put the link in the description below. And basically you just use two of the cleaner tablets, put the top on for about five minutes loosely, and then give it a good shake to wet in the threads, get a good seal on there, tighten it down all the way, let it sit for 30 minutes, uh, and then it's technically potable. After that, uh, you can add the PA++, plus, plus, PA++, plus plus, because whatever. Uh, and that's just going to basically bring the taste back to something that's palatable. I didn't really care about the taste. It really didn't bother me last time, um, but we're gonna we're gonna add those anyway. Alrighty then. Put your cap on loosely. About there. Give it about five minutes, and we'll uh, give it a shake. In the meantime, I am gonna show you guys the uh, life straw. I've never used a life straw before, but I know how to. It's just suck. It's just suck. This product sucks, but uh, <laughs> probably not so much that you're going to hate it when it saves your life. Uh, the issue with these is that you do, in fact, have to prime them. Let's see. Suck and blow. <laughs> Get in on these instructions because I'm not messing around. <laughs> it's suck and blow. <laughs> so that's going, to, um, that's going to get the water into us and any debris out of the filter. Um, on the bottom there, you've got that nice little uh, blue mesh filter. Above that's a sponge filter, and then you've got activated carbon, and then a bunch of other garbage in here. All right, so these things, a lot of the time when you see them on the box in the commercials or whatever, 
You're just, the, the person in the picture is just like belly down next to their source of water drinking straight out of it and you absolutely 100% can do that. I don't really feel like going belly down out here right now and putting my face in this water. So I just, you know, pulled some water out with a bottle. And Jesse was awesome enough to bring a tin cup, which is cool because the bottle that I brought, uh, the mouth is not wide enough to fit the straw in it. If you can, I think a Gatorade bottle is a little bit wider than this and you can fit the whole thing in there. That would be my thing for ideal convenience. But uh, in lieu of that, a tin cup will have to do the trick. Let's show you guys there are no shenanigans here. Sean, my friend, yeah. dunk it in. Don't put a fish in it. There's <laughs> no fish in it, all right? I just filled right. it really high. All right, straight from our, our lovely Oklawaha River here. And uh, here we go. So for about uh, a second or two after the water is gone, there's the water gone, um, you're still gonna be able to get water out of it because it's actually, it actually is still full of water right now. Uh, but once the water is gone, you kind of lose suction and you're not gonna be able to actually pull that water through the straw anymore uh, because the air is just gonna start bubbling around it and leaving the heavier substance in here. Hence the uh, suck and blow thing. So once, once you can't actually get any more water out of it, just blow back the water and that's kind of a backwash like you would do with a pool pump how you're just blowing water back over all your filter elements to get any debris out and that's going to send it out the other end here because if it's if it's small enough to get in here it's small enough to come out of here that's about it and um making sure that you do both of these processes i mean you know at least at least the cleaning process every single time it's going to extend the life of your life straw um, and you're not going to have to replace it quite as soon and if you have one of the more expensive ones that's either the the actual water bottle that they make or if it's one of the metal bodied ones that you can replace the uh, insides then you're not going to have to replace those insides quite as often so that is it for the life straw uh, I actually really dig this and if I was in a desperate situation and this is nice and small. It's easy to carry with you. It comes with this nice little lanyard. Just wear it around your neck if you want. I, um, and I, if I, huh? I think my only issue with it is every time you want clean water, you have to pull out the water bottle and it. That's, true. that's it. I mean, true, but instead of just like grabbing your water bottle and having the already clean water there. True, I, I agree because that's why that is why I like the squeeze filter better. Mm. Um, but this was twenty bucks. So for twenty bucks. This will filter 1,000 gallons, um, especially if you're treating it right. Uh, this will definitely, definitely get you through whatever you're dealing with until you can find a, uh, a clean water source. And of course, you can always boil your water or anything like that. All right, last but not least here is uh, kind of my favorite one that I definitely have to buy. I also want to buy like an inline, one of the squeeze mm. uh, inline ones, but this is by far, I think, the easiest. Um, this is the squeeze filtration system by Sawyer. They have a few different variations of this. Um, this is the kind of small one that you can actually stick on the end of a life water bottle and anything else with a similar thread. And if I filled this bottle up, I could just drink straight out of it, but I want to show you guys at least the kind of the process here. Uh, would you mind? Actually, you know what? No, I could just use this. I could just use this since I already have it. This is why it's always handy to have a, uh, a dirty and a clean or you just they don't have bottles just containers a dirty container and a, and a clean container so you always know that you're not drinking you know poison poison stays in the bag <laughs> so this one is just you know aptly named a squeeze filter because literally you just uh, use the pressure of the squeezing on whatever receptacle it's in to filter it and this filter has uh, I believe all the same elements as the life straw does and the nice thing about this is um, is this model the one that you can unscrew and? I think so, yeah. Okay, so it's actually two pieces, bottom and top. Um, oh, well, bottom and top and then top, so I guess three pieces here. Uh, but the filter elements in here are all replaceable, and I think they put the life of the the uh, carbon at like 10,000 gallons and the life of the entire thing at 100,000 gallons. So as long as you're swapping out those filter elements, at, you know, approximately every what 30,000 bags of this that you use, so. About 30,000 liters will be about 1,000 gallons. No, 3,000. 3,000 liters is 1,000 gallons-ish. Mm. Um, 
then this thing will last you 100,000 gallons, which is insane. And it's honestly, it's smaller than the Life Straw. The only problem is that it is dependent upon you having a container you can thread it onto. So Jesse is giving me <laughs> hand signals right now that he's wondering if we could actually use it as, as a straw. Yes, you can. Well, you can? Yep, absolutely. Oh, this is this is like the best one then. Yep. How much well, was this? I'm not sure, but uh, like as a side bucks, note, right? this is uh, this and the drip filter I was talking about earlier yeah. are the ones that my dad used on the AT. Okay. Uh, AT, for those of you who wonder. For our international people. Ah! <laughs> or, uh, it's the Appalachian Trail. Uh, his dad hiked the whole Appalachian Trail at age 65, proving that we all suck and he's amazing. <laughs> So you'll notice that the watercolor really hasn't changed much and that's going to be the same with any of these filters. Your water coloration is really not going to change much. That's just like uh, decomposed roofs and stuff like that. Yeah, the water just kind of turns red over time, especially if you're drinking out of a puddle uh, like, <laughs> like we were last time. It was very, very red. Uh, the, what you're really focused on here is getting any sediment out and then obviously killing any sort of bacteria which is what these filters are awesome for, and those iodine tablets are fantastic for as well. Uh, so here we go. Mm. And I'm not dead. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> it's life maybe, water. maybe he can let you know during editing. It's life dead. water, it won't <laughs> kill me. There you go, tried life straw, tried life straw style. Me? Yeah. Oh man. Okay, let's see if it works like this. Yes? Okay. Jesse's awesome and correct. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, if you are in a bind and you don't have a bottle and you don't have uh, this guy, belly down in a river, you're gonna you're gonna get some clean water. No, you have to get a little bit closer to the water. Oh you have to get a heck of a lot closer <laughs> to it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta face down in it, but um, Hey, face down in the water means you're getting water and uh, you're not dying. That's that's I mean unless you're you? drowning, in which case you are face down in the water. Well that's true. <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's go drink this. Smells like uh, a pool, so I am going to actually uh, drop a couple of these uh, taste, tablets. taste tablets in it, yeah. Let's see. Because, yeah, it, it straight up just smells like my pool, which is just a thousand percent chlorine right now. Because I still haven't replaced the pump. <laughs> it's been like six months. Plate and plate. All right. So lucky us, now we have to wait three more minutes before drinking. <laughs> um, okay, so this is like uh, cloudy AF, and that's probably just because of the uh, little guys uh, that I put in there disintegrating, but it is technically now very safe to drink and does not smell like my pool anymore, mostly. He wants some. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. All around. If, we, if I die, we all die. <laughs> I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> it looks like Kool-Aid too. It looks like the uh, mystery flavor air hop or uh, airhead. It just tastes You're like right. a swimming pool, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. It definitely went down the wrong pipe on top of it. Oh, oh yeah. Um, so definitely... Hey! Oh, hey! Even the water got some. Definitely my least favorite of the three <laughs> options. That sucked. That took 30 minutes and that sucked. Hey, Correct. that took 30 minutes and all you had to do was walk with it. True. That's fair. That's and fair. also, you're not dead now. Yeah, if that's all you've got, it does work um, to make water. We know because this is all we had last time. <laughs> and it sucked, but we didn't dehydrate which was obviously quite good. I definitely like the life straw and the squeeze filter. Squeeze filter is definitely my top of the three. Um, I, I would only say the life straw beats it out because it's something I can just throw in my bag as a single piece and just forget about it. And while, while technically, yes, you can just filter uh, with the, with the uh, top of the squeeze filter out of, out of a water source, you gotta really get friendly with it. It didn't, take, it didn't take much priming, but it was also primed already. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying priming. I'm just saying you have to get oh, yeah. that far from it, because because even even though the filter's that big, 
uh, there's that stem that comes out the bottom. It's a hollow area, so you have to be an inch and a half to two inches from the water. Yeah, I'd rather have a good six inches from an yeah. alligator than three inches from an alligator. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and I'm drinking right out of its mouth, so either way, it's going to be pretty pissed at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, another thing of note, how many iodine tablets come in that thing? Uh, yeah, like a hundred. Okay, so 50, you can make no, 50. 50. So you can make 25, 25 liters, liters of water with those little things. And you can make 25 liters of water taste less like a pool, kind of, with the other 25 of those things. Gotcha. So, and those are, like I said, like 18, 17, 18 bucks. Whereas the Life Straw is another $3. So for the extra $3, skip the iodine oh, tablets. no, the $3 will buy you the... And coffee filters. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. Because you do want to get the sediment out of there as well, um, unless you're just like, uh, you know, drinking, skimming off the top there. But the Life Straw, I think, is probably just like miles beyond. Longevity is the word. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you spend uh, the 40 or 45 bucks that you can get one of the metal body Life Straws for, then you can have the inter interchangeable uh, filter components in there as well. Uh, and the same goes with the squeeze filter if you do purchase that. I think that's around $45 for the small one. Um, but you can get those things like huge yeah. campsite huge, which is, which is pretty cool. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for joining me. Check out all these products in the link in the description below. And if you are ever in the, the beautiful Mother Nature like we are now, definitely bring one of them with you because dehydration sucks. Yeah, as someone can who, attest. Yes, can <laughs> attest. How about you, Jesse? Can you attest? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks as always for joining us, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you are interested in uh, drinking urine like Jesse is, uh, I think the Life Straw would be the best option for that. I've yet to pee, and I'm still curious. <laughs> That's not going in a video.